What is up everyone? Marches here and today I'll be comparing two of the signature shoes of two of the top guards in the NBA right now which is Royan 0.2 of Brody Russell Westbrook and this Black Brother Steph Curry shoe part of the town colorway this is the future history so if you want to know more about the two shoes I would put the link up here of the full performance review on each shoe and you can check out there the more detailed more specific areas of the shoe the advantages and the disadvantages on both shoes so let's start off with the upper so the why not is an engineered mesh different kind of textures all throughout the engineered mesh there's a fused area here in the forefoot to prevent it from ripping and there's another thicker mesh here that acts as wings for support swing when you tighten up the laces it hugs your foot down to the foot bed and also here on the back part on the heel uh, it's very well padded and it's thicker so when you crank up your laces it hugs your foot really well and it's a mid cut the curry 6 upper is a full on nip also with the fused leather here on the toe box to prevent it from ripping too here on the side it acts as wings for support and lockdown so when you tighten this up, it also locks you down in the footbed. It's a little bit narrower compared to the ones you find in the y nuts, which has wide wings in the midfoot, plus the ring here in the lateral part near the forefoot. As for the support on the upper, I like the support that you can find here in the y nuts better, mainly because of this wings. It really locks you down. As for the curries, because it's net, the tongue part is pretty thin compared to the tongue part of the Westbrooks. So I needed to wear a thicker socks with this one. When I tightened up the laces, it digs on my foot, on top of my foot. Compared to the y nuts, which I didn't experience at all because it's very plush. The tongue is very well padded. As for the upper, although this one is knit, I like the mesh of the y nuts better because it performs a bit better compared to the curries. Ventilation on both shoes is okay. It's better on the curries because it's thinner, but I wouldn't sacrifice the port and the padded phone that I can find here in the y nuts just because it's knit. So for the upper, that's a win for the y nuts. On the heel part, both have heel counters. Look how beef up the pad the area of the Y nuts are. That's the main advantage of the Y nuts. But if you're a player who doesn't like chunkiness, this is a bit more chunky because of the padded foam here and you want minimal looking shoe, the Curry 6 is for you. But for me, I like it to be more padded so I like the Y nuts. As for ankle protection, of course, the Y nuts because it's a mid-cut shoe compared to the curries which is really low. You need to wear ankle braces on these if you want more ankle protection. Both have excellent heel counter. The carry around the curry 6 goes up and serves as support on your heel. So the y nuts has an internal heel counter and an external one. The cushion setup goes up here in the y nut so it also acts as heel protection and support. As for heel lockdown, you feel more lockdown on the y nuts because of course it's a mid-cut shoe and it's very well padded. It really helps your ankle and heel part here on the y nuts. Again, win on the y nuts for that category. Now let's move on to the cushion. The y nuts have a 4 foot zoom unit and an injected phylon which is more dense which is more plush. Now the Curry 6 has a hover cushioning enclosed in the carrier. Cushioning of course the y nuts. Far more bouncier in the forefoot. The injected phylon is plush. Impact protection is great here. The hover cushion on the Curry's is just enough. So if you're a player whose priority is not cushioning and you want court feel and responsiveness, go with the Curry 6. Because you feel a lot closer to the ground on the Curry's compared to the Why Not. Both sneakers are very responsive. But again, personal preference, I like the balance of cushioning and responsiveness of the why nots. Now let's move on to the traction. Right off the box, both shoes perform really well. Grippiness and squeakiness is there on both shoes. So for the traction, I give both shoes a tie. On a clean court, both shoes are very good. On a dusty court, also, they perform very well. Dust pickup is very minimal on both. But I think that's a slight advantage on the why nuts because the traction pattern on the why nuts is widely spaced compared to the curries, but still, when I was playing in the dusty court on the curries, I didn't need to wipe. So I think the rubber compound is really good on the curries. So after use, I think you're safe on both shoes. And because my y nuts has an XDR outsole, which is an Asian release, so that's a slight advantage that we have here in Asia. Our outsole in the Nike shoes are mostly made out of XDR rubber. So it's very hard when I was flipping it. You can hardly move it. So after use on both shoes, 
you won't have a problem. As for the sizing, go true to your size on both shoes. For white footers, you need to go half a size up on both because the knit and the crease really stretch so it's okay. While the why not, it has a tongue so you can really open up the shoe more and adjust it to your fit. As for the pricing, the why not is 6,300 while the curry 6 is around 7,000 pesos. So as for my final verdict, guess what shoe would I prefer? You are correct. The Why Nots. The cushioning on the Why Nots won me over. It's a very well balanced shoe. Not just enough, it's a good cushioning shoe. Impact protection, good bounciness, and there's still responsiveness. And of course, very good traction. The upper is very supportive and it's cheaper than the Curry's. What I don't like about the Curry's compared to the Why Nots is the lack of cushion. I really like the traction on the curries. And as for the support laterally and for the upper, I like the Why Nuts better because of the wings and how high the cushioning goes up here. That serves us lateral support too. So guys, do you agree with me? Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you planning to cop these two pairs? Did I help you out? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you again for watching my videos. This has been Marches once again and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers!